Hello and welcome to my second video. I did actually put the first one up on a channel. It's currently called Bayek uh, Tabletop Gaming. Not entirely sure why it's called Bayek Tabletop, Ga Tabletop Gaming. It seemed a um, acceptable name at the time. Might yet change it. We'll see. Anyway, as you can probably tell by what you can see in front of you, today I am going to do a quick rundown of the Flames of War ZSU M17 AA Platoon Sprue, or more accurately, the M16 AAA Sprue. Uh, just to heads up, or not every video I do will be just a review of sprues. Uh, I do intend to do some other things as well, uh, flick throughs of books, reviews, that kind of thing, maybe a few demo games, we'll see. But at the moment, these things are fairly easy to do so that's what I'm doing. Anyway this is a kit I bought with my own hard-earned cash no one sent it to me for free sadly so without further ado on to the sprue. And there it is. In the box you get through there's another bit as well in the box you get three of these in the ZSU box that is and as you can see on here you can get it down there if it's going to focus in anytime soon. You can see it says the M16 AAA half track. That's because this that's what the sprue actually makes. I don't know why it's called the M17 for the Soviets when it's the M16 for the Americans. I'm sure someone up there can tell me. Anyway, what's on the sprue? So the sprue is so there's a main section here and there's a little bit here. It makes a AA hey. Triple A, I should call it, half track. So what have we got on the sprue? We've got the front wheels, because it's a half track, you need some wheels at the front. Uh, some side armor panels. That is a 37mm anti-aircraft gun. That's a little aiming device thingy. It's another little aiming device thingy for the M16. I think that one's for the M15. Turret bottom for the M16. Floor of your half track for the M16. Floor of your half track for one I think is the T28 from Midwall. One side of the half track. The other side of the half track. See, tracks, wheels, tracks, half track. Some armoured panelling. Uh, half track body. For a little bit of armour. Turret peg, always useful. And now this part of the sprue, it's like that bit in the Matrix when Matrix, um, when Nia says guns or lots of guns, because this sprue has all the guns on it. So as well as that 37 mil down there, we have got two 50 cals here, a uh, windscreen. Two, I think they are, yes, they're also 50 cals separately. Two 50 cals connected together. And two, I think these are 50 cows as well, but with their like little cooling jackets on them. And a little assembly to help hold things together. I think that's for the either the T28 or the M15. There's also this separate little section here, which has just got I'll talk a bit over, two half-track rears and two half-track bumpers. I'll do the other side of this sprue, just so you can see what it looks like. But guns... Guns, windscreened, guns, 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 little assembly, ammo plating, ammo plating, half track body, rear half of the half track back, half track body and top, ammo plating, turret peg, turret bottom, aiming gubbins, another gun, ammo plating, and some wheels. You also get a card in the box, which I won't bother showing you, the stats are all in the book. You get a little crew sprue, this is the um, slightly bendy plastic stuff. You get, uh, there's two missing off this for obvious reasons in a moment, but you get two drivers, they're the ones holding the steering wheels, funnily enough, and two blokes that are going to have really bad hearing problems in later life because they sit in the turret. So what does that actually mean when you've all put it together? Well, here is one of the Soviets M17. Is that ZSU M17 to be exact? You can see 
the turret's on the turret peg, so the turret spins freely. Uh, the body of the half track was fairly easy to put together. Some nice detailing on there, a little spade on the side. Winch on the bumper. Uh, ammo cases. Insert, it's going to focus. Still recording this on my phone, so. Ammo casing on the, uh, sorry, ammo cases on the back there, a couple either side. The driver was a bit of a tight squeeze to get in, but it fits. I think I've put him on the right side, which is the left side and the wrong side. Uh, the turret was a bit fiddly to build. You start with the turret body, let's see if we can get it to focus a bit better. You start with the turret body uh, and build up as you go along. The sides go on, uh, and then you're meant to put the, the left side and the right side have a gun on each, and then you're meant to put the guns below them on. I found it a bit easier to actually put the aiming device on first as that's got the magazine tops on and it kind of helps guide the lower guns into place which go on separately. But there you are. So you get three of those in the survey box. I assume they're going to release an American box. Uh, probably when the new Bulge book comes out. That will have four of them in because Americans feel them in fours. And I think it's not clear, because the only things mentioned on the box are this one, the uh, ZSU M17. But I'm fairly certain from it you will be able to build the American Triple O platoon from Late War, which has got the uh, M15 in it with a 37mm and 250 cows. The M16, which is exactly the same as that Soviet one there. You'll also be able to build the T28E1 from Midwar, which is basically just like an M15, but without the um, armour plating around the turret. And it won't build this next one, but I reckon, not the, not the aircraft, this is what I'm about to show you, but I reckon with a little bit of kit bashing, and if you're willing to suspend some disbelief, you might be able to cobble together an M3 TCM20 from Fit of a Nation. To do that, what I would do is take, I see my arm, no, take these, which are the sides from the M16, chop off the gun barrel and put on these ones, the barrels from these, which are a bit shorter and a bit thicker, which kind of look like the 20 mil priest kind of look like the 20 mil barrels on there not quite you will also need to put on some boxes for the ammo storage both can you see if you can get that to focus boxes for the ammo storage on there and um, it won't be ideal but from three feet away the other side of the table it might look passable if you don't want the metal and resin ones. It's an option. I've got a friend who's planning to do that probably. Um, or more likely he's going to ask me to do it on his behalf. We'll see what happens. But anyway, that is the uh, ZSU M17 from Flames of War. Uh, you get three in the Soviet box. And so I'm assuming they're going to release an American box with appropriate cards and things, crew models in it. Probably when the Bulge Books comes out, which should have four in it. Um, we'll wait to see if they do any more of them. And that's it. Let me know what you think about this. And have fun.